Today we're going to be comparing the steel power broom versus the uh, one of the steel electric leaf blowers. Uh, what model is this? It's the BGA 86. And then over on the steel power head, I've got the battery powered power head. This is the older model, the KMA 130R. Um, the new one, you can put a battery right at the back. This one, you just get this port here and that's all you get. Uh, but what I got here is I've got a bunch of uh, dirt from my tractor that's come into the yard here. And so I wanted to compare what it's like using the leaf blower with the power broom. I suspect that the leaf blower is going to put up a lot of dust and it's going to be kind of crappy uh, to sit around and try to breathe in there. And that the uh, power broom is going to have less dust um, and take a little bit longer. So here's the entire barn of all the uh, stuff we're going to clean up today. On the left side I'm going to use the power boom and uh, just do that and then I'm going to do the leaf blower on the right hand side so you can see the difference between them. Uh, you'll notice that sometimes I will run the power boom when I'm walking backwards because when it spins it kind of pushes back a little so it makes it a little easier to uh, pull it backwards. Uh, however in this case the uh, concrete is really smooth so it didn't really help at all so I stopped spinning it while walking backwards. You notice there is some dust that comes off with the broom, but it stays pretty close to the ground, and most of the dirt and debris just goes right in front of the uh, in front of the broom. For my settings on the electric power head, I have it on uh, two out of three pips, so it's kind of in the middle. I probably could have used one. I haven't really noticed a huge difference for lightweight stuff like this um, using the different power levels. There's a fair amount of walking back and forth because some of the, the dirt kind of gets pushed off to the side. Um, it's a lot easier than pushing a normal broom, just kind of powers through there with you, so it's it's really pretty pretty easy to push this going forward. All right, switched over to the leaf blower. And um, you can see the big plumes of dust that's coming up, and it's uh, kind of dusty. Not the most pleasant thing in the world, but definitely moving some stuff. And you'll notice as we get onto this side, it starts pushing a lot of that dust and debris onto this side. I already cleaned up with the power broom. It's doing a pretty good job of moving all the, the dust. Um, it's not doing as well on sort of the bigger chunks of dirt, and it's kind of what's happening though is the bigger chunks, they, it moves them, but then it kind of just deposits the debris on the other side. About here is where I get fed up with the leaf blower blowing all the uh, dirt back on the spot that I already cleaned. And I was getting on the other side of the barn and I was getting things messy. So for these larger uh, dirt particles, I switched back over to the power broom. I 
And since it's just little bits of dust and the leaf blower works great for little bits of dust, uh, finishing this whole job up with the leaf blower. Overall, I'd say I like the uh, broom for some of the bigger stuff. It's kind of nice, and I like the way it pushes the bigger material. Um, if all I had was a leaf blower, uh, I would just use a leaf blower. Uh, the, the broom is kind of expensive for what it is, and I like it, and I think it's kind of a, a neat tool, but I don't really use it that often. I vast majority of the time, I use the, uh, I use the leaf blower because it's so much faster and easier. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.